Hey everyone, this is my Resi Reefer 425, a 112 gallon system, which has been established for uh, about two months. So I used to have a 50 gallon tank and a 10 gallon tank for them. Uh, everything like uh, most of the rocks and the corals are moved from them to here because the old tanks are too small for them. So I get a new one. The old tank was about like two years old, so it's a pretty like mature reef system though. So I think this is here, that's why it's gonna be like uh, stable more quickly. Uh, actually today I have four dwarf angels in this tank. Currently they are doing good, uh, no aggressions, not much coral pickups. You can see the corals most likely are good. So let's take a look at it. So you can see this is an African flameback angelfish and the Venustus angelfish. So the African flameback is the like oldest one in my tank. It has been here for like two years. It's doing good and uh, never pick up any corals, not like uh, uh, feather dancers or clams. And Venustus angel, this is a new fish actually. It has been here for like uh, one and a half months. Currently doing good, like eating uh, flakes and the brine shrimp and cyclopods and eating good so and no disease and this one is the calling angel fish it's a tiny one and he has been here for like a half year so this fish is actually captive bred so it's going to be hardier than the wild caught species and like it's eating everything uh, mice shrimp brine shrimp flakes of pellets so it's basically going to accept all the foods and also uh, seaweed, of course. So this is smallest of fish here. Uh, I used to have a big calling central fish, which is wild caught. It has been like destructive for the corals, especially trachees, scullies, and also the clams and zoas. But right now, this little calling central fish is a model citizen. So I didn't see any problem with it. Okay, so in the corner, this is a golden angel fish, which is considered also like difficult to keep. But right now he's doing good, eating like a pig. He's gonna be here like uh, uh, five months, I think. Yeah, he's eating everything. At first, uh, it do take me some time to let it get to start feeding. So uh, it takes like a mice, brine, and I tried everything, including like a fish ROE, like oyster eggs, pods. He did not eat anything, but finally after one month, he started pick on the norris, so I mean the seaweeds, and then he's gonna take um, mice, brine, and then flakes and pellets, finally. And he's good now, like he's doing good now. Uh, he's the only one that's kind of like picking up corals in my tank right now. If I don't feed him like uh, three times a day, he's gonna be picking on my trackies especially, and also the scallies. I also have an egg can, but I give it to my friend because the golden angel fish has noticed about that. Uh, I hope if I can just feed it more, then we can have keep it like the minimum damage. So the point to keep four dwarf angels in a tank, I think most likely is to keep the different sizes. So I have like a, one big fish, uh, two medium fish, and one small fish. Uh, so like different sizes maybe to just reduce the aggression and also I'm choosing like four fishes that is like a like least close to each other so you know um, the African brainback angelfish is in the cyphopop family which is close to like uh, uh, cherub angelfish pacific pygmies and fisher's angelfish and Collins angelfish the only one who close to related to it is the it's deep water necrosis angelfish, which we've never seen, so he's not close to related to any other people. The golden angelfish is the same thing, not close to related to any other like a coast species. Um, like uh, it's a little bit like close to um, the coral beauty and the flame angelfish and the shepherdy, like uh, I mean the mango angelfish family, but still like far away from them. And the Venusus angelfish. Uh, he's actually from the Paracentropygae instead of Centropygae family. So it's also like far related to other peoples. 
Right now, they are doing good, no aggressions at all. Like few aggressions I have seen between the calling and the African flame pack because they are the same in size. And, but I don't see any like uh, visible damage. So, okay, so I hope my tank is, is peaceful. It's gonna be like continue. And also I hope the picking up corals that like, can be minimized so I don't see any damage on the corals. Thank you for watching. Bye.